hello guys welcome to day 12 of the excel online training yesterday we spoke about lists and um, excel data validations and we spoke about you know how you can restrict the kind of inputs that your users actually put into a particular cell or row or column however you want to configure it but today we will be talking about uh, string operations so how do you manage strings in Excel? Uh, how do you actually handle strings? How do you extract from strings and things like that? That's what we'll be working on today. So I've uh, listed out the functions we'll be covering today. Um, so I I'll be fast about it because of the number we need to cover in this short video. So I'll, I'll be starting with the left function. Basically, the left function is used to extract uh, a string starting from the left just like the way it starts or just like the way it sounds so you can extract a, a string um, from the left uh, let, let me demonstrate that so it's basically clear so let's imagine we have a text and say this is a boy okay with the left function what i can do with it is say okay with this i want to extract let's say i want to extract this this here okay all i have to do is pick the text as my um as a parameter and then do comma four four means i'm counting four four uh four characters from the beginning from the left of the string so it's counting from t h i s remember space is also a character but because we're stopping at four it will stop at you know s so if i say enter here can you see that it extracts it if I try it again and say, okay, this time let me also um, let me also include the IS. If I make it six, look at what would happen. The S is cut off. Reason is because space is also a character. So T H I S that's already four characters. Then you have space, which is the fifth, and the high, which is the sixth. That's why you have this. So if I want to capture IS, I have to make it actually seven. Okay, so that's the way you actually work with the left function it basically allows you to extract the substring of a string starting from the left of the main string so this is the main string this is my substring i was i'm extracting this from this starting from the left now after covering the left of course you know what basically the right function will do it's the same thing as the left function but this time it's coming from the right it's counting from the right so if i change this to right and i press enter you can see s a boy basically that's um, when you count seven characters so let's count from the right y o b space making four a five space six s seven so that's why you actually have this so that's why you use both the left and the right functions to do but sometimes you know you don't want to actually capture from the left or from the right you want to actually you know pick strings right from the mid center for example what if i just want to capture this is I so I want to capture this A. Okay. I want to even capture this H I S instead of capturing the entire this. What you can do is actually use the mid function. So the mid function basically starts from the middle, or you can pick where your, your starting point and then count the number of characters you want to extract. Let's try that. So this is the mid function, okay, and this is the text I want to extract from. So for example, if I want to extract this I S A this um i has this is basically what i have to do is count the number of characters before it so here t h i s space that's five characters right so i put five as my starting point and then i can put the number of characters i want to extract in this case i want to extract only two characters which is i has so i put two and then okay uh five let's try that t h i s four Five. okay so starting from five characters the fifth character actually made it capture this piece my bad so normally we should start from the sixth character okay that's why you have i s now what if i want to capture this boy t h i s that's four space is five i is six s is seven um space is eight now a is actually the ninth character so if i say capture from the ninth character then if i tell you to capture a single character it returns the a right a right or if i want to uh, return this is and this a all i have to do is do what 
count from the left T H I S space making five making six because I'm actually starting from high the high um, after the space so this will be six and then I want to capture how many characters I S space A I want to capture four characters so here I put four is A can you see that so that's actually how you can extract from a character or from a, a string you can extract the substring from a string is either your left right and mid function now this can get more complex depending on the application but um i will leave you to practice that if you have any question please you know how to um actually contact us either via our twitter handle on the uh, youtube page now the length function early hand function what the length function does for you it's, it counts the number of character now imagine what i was doing uh, before i had to be counting the characters manually right one two three four so what the length function can do for you is can look at an entire cell and tell you the number of characters are in the cell how do you do that you just do is it cost to length and then you pass the text or the cell then it instantly tells you you know this cell has 13 characters okay if you want to count you can do that to confirm this is four is is five a is um uh, sorry is is two making six plus the space seven another space eight eight nine space ten then three making 13. so in, in case you keep you know updating this is a boy and he wears blue can you see instantly so in case you keep changing the value of the cell of the cell okay uh, the formula keeps updating to show you the new length so this is particularly useful when you want to say restrict the number of entries that people can put in a cell or the number of characters you want them to put in a cell remember like we did yesterday so here you can actually show them like a counter so they are seeing the counter so that once they exceed it then um the the input uh, message pops up basically tells them they've exceeded it then you can decide to either warn them or basically uh, stop them as you would like but then you can also decide to use conditional formatting to say okay if this particular count is more than a particular number or a specific number then change to red to show that the person has gone beyond the normal number you understand so there are a lot of things you can uh, a lot of ways you can actually apply this particular one now notice something this is a boy and he wears blue right the same 31 now imagine after this actually put space can you see what has happened is although the space within two uh two words are important right it helps you to differentiate them but the space after and all the space before actually not important so what this does is it's you can use space to actually inflate the number of characters you have you understand but then that's one of the um, downside of lame function that's one of the uh not a downside per se but that's one of the issue you have with the lame function but there's a way to always address the issue and that's when you use the trim function what the trim function does is it takes away every space that starts and every space that finishes the sentence so if you have a content in a cell and then you have space to the left or space to the right you can trim it off without affecting the space within the middle remember space within the middle is um, is what is required for you to be able to uh, clearly identify the the words so all you need to do is just cancel the space to the left and also the space to the right now let's do that all i just have to do is, is equals to trim and then i pick this cell and i press enter can you see what happens immediately it has trimmed it okay now if i now do a learn for this it shows me the actual number so this trim function is able to correct defects with text especially when you are when uh, someone has padded text with space to the left and space to the right or space to the right then you can use trim to actually clear those off it's very important especially when you are dealing with some other functions which we would uh, talk uh, about in subsequent functions now after trim we have the lower function as you probably know the lower function helps you to change all your letters to lower keys okay just lower function just means lower case once you understand that it's fine okay so let's say we actually have this now this t is uh capital letter here. let's let's change this okay this actually function 
let's change this to boy a capital then this okay let's do it this way okay now if i come here um let me put it here okay we we are no longer using this so you don't get confused okay so right here if i just come here and say is it cost to lower okay and then i pick this text as the input look at what happens it immediately converts all the letters in the cell to lowercase okay so it immediately converts everything to lowercase that's what it does for you the lower function does for you so sometimes you know someone has entered capital letters and those kind of words you just want to change them to lowercase this uh, lower function really helps now the upper function does opposite of the lower function it converts everything to capital letter so if i say here upper and i pick this let's even pick the lower you can see what happens it converts everything to capital letters so upper function always remember means capital letters lower function means lower letter but sometimes you know you don't need everything to be in uh, all lower letters or all capital letters you just need the first letter of each you know word like i think microsoft word calls it sentence case or is it subject case however um so what you can do here is you can use what is called the proper function proper function converts just the first letter of, of every word to uppercase so let's do that say proper and then you pick this can you see that so proper function converts just the first letter okay so it's a, just a variant of both the lower function and the upper function i hope you understand that so uh moving to the next one the rept function rept function is actually a like a an abronym for repeat so sometimes you know you want to repeat the particular character a number of time so for example if you want to repeat like star let's say star okay but i want it to be written like five times or ten times an option is to type it you know individual and say one two three four and then count but then excel gives you a function whereby you can use to repeat characters so what i can just say is repped here i pick this then i say the number of times i want it to be repeated let's say five times when you see it repeats it so if i say xo let's say i want to repeat xo like 10 times which will make x and o one two three ten times which will be 20 characters right you just say rep then you pick xo now you say 10 because i want to repeat it 10 times can you see what happens it basically repeats it for you so sometimes you know when you have repetitions you want to do a specific number of time for accuracy sake it's best you actually use the rep rather than counting individual character for yourself so that's what rept can do for you uh, i'll stop the video here then i'll pick the next video from the next um from i'll pick from find i'll start the next video from the find function thanks